Francisco Camprodon. Francisco Camprodon, 4 March 1816 16 August 1870, was a Spanish playwright, poet, politician, and librettist, originally from Catalonia. Biography Provenance and Early Years Francisco Camprodon was born in Vich as it was written at that time, a regional center and manufacturing town with a focus on textiles, in the hill country roughly 100 kilometers to the north of Barcelona. He enrolled to study jurisprudence at the University of Cervera, where he was a student near contemporary of the philosopher-theologian James Balmes, the two became close lifelong friends. There are suggestions that Camprodon may have contributed to one or some of the early published works of Bamas. Spain did not recover quickly from the Great War in which the armies of France and England had competed for control of the peninsula. The University of Cervera was the local university, but it had become increasingly run down. During the 1830s it was progressively closed, Camp Rodden transferred to the University of Alcala just outside Madrid to pursue his law studies before returning to Catalonia to conclude them, receiving his law degree in 1838 from the University of Barcelona. Politics and Exile At around the time of his graduation, he was hit by a serious health crisis. The doctors were unsure as to its cause, but suspected an aneurysm for which they prescribed cocktails of drugs which, according to one source, came close to killing him. One of the doctors spotted him out with his girlfriend and urgently implored him, do not marry. Camprodon at this point gave up on the drugs and the medical advice and rapidly returned to the robust good health which he would enjoy virtually till the end of his life. He now turned to politics linking up with the liberal activists of the time. In the words of a biographer, he now engaged on politics with greater vehemence than was convenient to the government that was in the ascendancy at the time. Spain was not a democracy at this time. Camprodon suffered persecution and was then exiled to Cadiz on the southern coast, far from the centers of political power and influence. Conception Before being sent away to Cadiz, Francisco Camprodon found time to marry Conception Borrell, daughter of Maria Borrell I. de Merle Pakes, a wealthy Barcelona industrialist and property developer. The marriage was registered in Barcelona on 27 May 1842. Stage Dramatist Having received his law degree and survived serious illness, Camprodon had two career vocations, politics and literature. Having been sent south on account of his political activism, he recalled that as a boy he had written verses, and resolved to embark on a writing career. In this he was supported by the young Duke of Montpensier, who became a friend and backer. It was Montpensier who encouraged him to make a collection of his poetry, and a couple of years later, published some of it in a volume under the title Emotions. Produced in Barcelona, the volume was well received by critics and readers, helping to establish Camprodon's reputation as a writer. Another friend from his time in Kitties was the stage actor José Velero. The idea that he might find a wider audience as a writer for the theater began to form in his mind. During the early 1850s, his exile seems to have lapsed. That year, taking a walk with friends in Barcelona, someone suggested he should turn his hand to a stage comedy. During the evening, he began work on the drama that would become Flor du Andaya, The Flower of a Day, he began with the final act of the play. The Tetro Espanol in Madrid had been reopened and renamed in 1849, with a series of practical enhancements which seemed to reflect and adumbrate a sustained theater revival in Spain during the middle and later decades of the 19th century for Camprodon that provided an added spur to his work on the stage play. Some time later Camprodon found himself in Madrid on an unrelated matter and took himself to the theater, where he took the opportunity to visit Valero. In the actor's room backstage, he found that his friend already had a visitor in the form of the successful dramatist Thomas Rodriguez Rubai. This fellow writes very good poems, Valero told Rubai, indicating Camprod. Perhaps predictably, Rubai was more interested to know whether the newcomer had any stage comedies available. Comedies were in short supply. 
Camp Rudden admitted he had an unpublished stage comedy in a bottom drawer, and in response to further questioning, he agreed that it was, as far as he could tell, good. It turned out that Camp Rodden had excellent recall of the work, and he was able to talk Rubai through the drama in very great detail. It was a long night, even by Madrid standards, and ended in a lengthy walk through the streets during which Camp Rodden completed his exposition of the drama to Rubai. They parted at two in the morning, with nothing more committal from Rubai than a cheerful haste to Manana, till tomorrow. Nevertheless, relatively shortly after that, probably during 1851, and at the insistence both of Valero and of Rubai, that Flor de Andaya was staged in Madrid to widespread acclaim. It is indeed widely viewed as Camprodon's most successful stage drama. A consistent timeline is hard to infer from the various sources, but the drama probably had its premiere at Madrid's Teatro Espanol during February 1851. It is a mark of Camp Rodden's commercial acumen, and, perhaps of the play's popularity, that he broke with what was then the tradition by refusing to surrender future production's rights for the play to the theatre. From approximately 1854, Francisco Camp Rodden based himself in Madrid. A second stage work, Espinas de Uniflor Thorns of a Flower, was premiered at the Teatro del Drama in 1852, followed by others as the decade progressed. Parliament. The move to Madrid coincided with a return to political engagement. Camp Rodden emerged as a prominent member of the Liberal Union Union Liberal, a centrist monarchist political grouping which was assuming features of a modern European political party and which, from 1858, was backed by a majority in the Spanish Parliament Court's generals for a decade. Camp Rodden became one of the Liberal Union deputies, representing Barcelona and Santa Coloma de Farners, in 1854. He remained a member for five years and attended party congresses over a period of ten years between 1856 and 1865. He would be remembered as a relatively independently-minded party member. Overall, however, his impact on Madrid during the 1850s was more as a fashionably romanticist playwright and poet than as a politician. Zorzuela. It is nevertheless neither for his contributions in Parliament, nor for his stage plays, that Francisco Camprodon would be best remembered, but for his contributions as a Zarzuela librettist. The Zarzuela genre alternates between spoken and sung sections, thereby according greater importance to the script than other forms of music drama such as opera. Some of his better known works were El Domino Azul Blue Sunday, Jack L. Ray Checkmate and El Diablo and El Poder the Devil in Charge. Probably the most successful of them all was Marina, with music by Emilio Arrieta, which had its premiere at the Teatro del Circo in Madrid in 1855. After Camprodon's death, the libretto was updated, and Marina was reconfigured as an opera. Beyond the theater, Camprodon's was inspired by the Africa War of 1859-60 to publish his carta, A Don Juan Prim, an adulatory letter addressed to the hero of Los Castellillos in the form of a series of quadrillas. The work resonated widely, capturing the mood of the moment. The composers with whom Camprodon principally worked were Emilio Areta, Francisco Asenjo Barbary, Cristobal Aldred, and Nicolau Maynant. Final years. During his final years, as the Renaissance the Catalan revival gathered momentum, he wrote several stage plays in Catalan, such as La Tete Galinere 1865, Aunt Hen and La Tornada Dentito 1867, The Uncle Returns. After the triumph of the Glorious Revolution in 1868, he accepted a senior administrative job in Cuban and made his way to the territory. In Cuba, he contributed several articles in the newly launched Catalan language magazine, La Gresca. La Gresca was published in Havana. It was in Havana that Francisco Camprodon died on 15 August 1870. Equals equals references equals equals equals. <laughs>